video for you guys today today i'll be doing a point of view of my morning routine up at the stables with marley so my mornings typically start with heading over to the yard of course i'm very lucky that i'm only 20 minute walk away most of the walk is actually this driveway because it's so long but when i finally get to the top of it you can see kind of the yard so on the right there are some of the fields and you can see two of the horses there and then the yard itself is on the left hand side uh, the yard managers do live on site so very luckily they open it up in the morning so I can come quite early um, and I usually come as early as I can to make sure I can get Marley done in time before I head to work. So the first thing I've got to do is go and get Marley. So I walk up the yard, go and grab my head collar and then I head out to the field. So here I am just walking out to go and get Marley and on this particular day I was actually joined by Duncan. So Duncan's one of the gardens that lives out with Marley and the yard manager just asked if I could take him out with me because obviously it made more sense if I'm going to the same field I can just take him too and you know kill two birds with one stone. Here the scenery gets a little bit less urban, it's quite a nice part of the walk, walking through this little alleyway surrounded by all these trees and nature and you kind of forget that you're really in the middle of the city until obviously you get to this end bit where there's a car park and schools and all kinds of buildings. So the walk continues, we go around this corner which kind of leads to a little pathway and then eventually we get to the field. So here I am and Marley very thankfully now walks over. So I haven't got to worry too much about searching for him, he's now coming to call. Although he doesn't come very quickly but he still wanders over. Once I have got him I actually don't walk through the field at the minute because it's so muddy. So I actually climb over the fence and Marnie walks alongside with me and he's actually got really good with this so now I can actually throw the lead up over his neck or unclip him and he'll follow me to the gate. He's kind of really got into the routine. And so once we get to the gate I can just open it up, fill it towards me so I can stop other horses from getting out um, and then he can just walk out. And on this particular day he just found the grass too irresistible so he had to stop for a quick snack. Usually he does just turn around and wait for me by the gate but this is quite early on into doing this so you're still getting used to the system. Once I've got him I just walk him up and you know he's quite a slow walker so again he's behind me. He's not very good at walking next to me just yet and um, he was when he was younger because I used to do quite a lot of practice for him and showing with him but I think we've kind of let that slide a bit. And also I think where his foot's sore he tries to avoid the right hand side of the park because it's quite stony. So he just kind of follows me on the bits that aren't too bad. And here you can see the path is nice and even. So he's storming off the herd and he's next to me and he's actually ahead of me. So yeah, I definitely think it's because of the foot soreness and trying to avoid the stones. Once we get into the yard, I just tie him up. By now I've usually put out the things that I need, like my grooming kit. Um, and I go and head into the feed room to get started on his breakfast. So Marley doesn't have a particular food bowl for breakfast, they all kind of use these beige ones for breakfasts. So I just kind of grab one of those, hunt down a scoop, and the first thing I'm going to do is just sort out the first part of his breakfast, which is his calming condition. Now because this particular food needs to be soaked before it's fed, I always do this first. Usually I'll do it before I go and pick him up from the field, but it depends on if I'm doing something, like if I'm in a rush or if I'm not. If I'm usually just grooming then I'll soak it when he's in because I tend to put it to soak and then while I'm grooming him it's soaking so that's what I'm doing today. So I've just put that down to soak and I'm going to just give him a quick brush. As you can see he is quite muddy. He was out naked the night before so he's really got loads of mud on him so I'm just giving him a good old brush with the magic brush just to get all that mud off of him and just kind of flick off all that dirt and leave hair. Give him a good groom just to start off with. And usually my grooming takes quite a long time so by the time I finished grooming his food's definitely soaked enough. 
Um, once I've got all the main dirt off him, I give him a quick spray with my new favourite product, my Goodbye Flies 6-in-1 Grooming Spray. So this is a fly repelling product, but it's also got five other applications, so it's great for coat shine. So I still use it even though it's winter, and especially like all over his body. So here I am just spraying my microfiber cloth so I can wipe down his face. Of course, he won't let me spray his face as most horses wouldn't. So using a cloth is just a really easy way to get the product on him. After this, I use the dandy brush. I usually go in with the dandy brush before I use the spray. I'm not really sure why I didn't do it at order this time, but hey ho. And of course, then I will do his feet. So picking out the foot is really important, especially in winter, because so much mud and like stones and all sorts just compacts in the hoof which could make them lame, make them really uncomfortable. I mean, imagine walking around in stacked heels all the time and then you'll think about how your horse would feel walking around with mud stacked up in their foot. It's not comfortable. So definitely making sure I do this. I always pick his feet out, no matter if I'm there for an hour or five minutes. If there's one thing that I know I'm gonna definitely, definitely do, it's always picking out the foot. I just think it's so important to look after your horse's feet. And as the saying goes, no hoof, no horse. Here's a quick transition to show you how his food looks before and after soaking. So it starts off as a pellet and once it's soaked it turns into a mash. Um, so that's why it's so important to soak it because of how much it expands. If they use that dry it expands in their stomachs which is obviously not healthy. Then I add the rest of his food. So as you can see he gets a full scoop of chaff or alpha A which is what we use and then half a scoop of nuts. And then once that's all done, I take that over to him. And as you can see, he is so much better with his food and so much more patient. So he gets his breakfast and because he takes so long to eat, it's a really great time for me to get some other jobs done. And of course, the biggest job I have to do regarding the yard is poo picking. Now you guys have seen me poo pick probably a million times through countless time lapses. So instead, here's a nice view of the field. Ta-da! Right, once I've done poo picking, usually by this time Miley's finished eating. So all I've got to do is take him back out. Um, obviously at the moment Marley is turned away, so he's not being ridden. So usually in the mornings I try and squeeze in some kind of exercise, whether it be lunging, long reining or riding. But of course nowadays I haven't got to do that because he's turned away and I'm not doing that anymore. Um, so today he was just groomed and fed. If I have a bit more time, usually I'll try and do some groundwork because although he's not being ridden, he's still doing work. So whether that be groundwork, some desensitising or general exercising, so of course a long reining. Because he still needs to do something. Um, but of course today he had a bit of a chill day, it was kind of a day off for him. So we're heading back out. So here you can kind of see a bit more of the field and why I won't come in. And this was filmed about a month ago. So you can imagine with all the wet weather, the mud is a lot worse. So once again, I do not go in the field. Marley is really good, so I can just undo his head quite outside. He'll walk in, except for this particular day, George was trying to join us, which wasn't helpful. Um, so yeah, I just lock the gate up and obviously now I don't have Marley, so I can use my sneaky shortcut and cut through the mare's field to get back to the yard a bit quicker. So, massive thank you for watching this video everyone, I hope you enjoyed the style, um, if you did please let me know below and I will do a PM slash like afternoon or evening routine, um, obviously he's not doing a lot at the minute so I won't be doing too many videos but I will definitely try and record any groundwork we do just so you can keep up with his progress and we will see you for loads more riding videos when he comes back into full work in the spring.